Hey everybody, welcome to BigWhiteFish.com. Um, spring is here, as you can see by the snow on the ground. Um, but that does mean the backpacking season is starting uh, very soon. So we have all of this that we ordered. Um, it's all kinds of different stuff. We have a bunch of different ripstop nylons. We got M steel, zing it, draw cord, grow grain. Guterman at Mara 70 thread from ripstopbytheroll.com. Uh, they have a really good selection of all kinds of pretty much anything that you want. Sil nylon. Um, this is actually a tarp kit from DIYgearsupply.com that we're going to be doing. We are also going to try to make an ultralight frameless pack at some point. But the point is, there's a lot of stuff to come, and we're gonna try to get an entire loadout done with make your own gear um, equipment. So, And if you're new to making your own stuff for backpacking, you don't have to go and order online from the big distributors. Uh, they have the best stuff because it's going to be the lightest, there's going to be a larger selection of weight. Um, but if you just go to your local fabric store, like Joann's for us here, they will actually have ripstop nylon. It's probably around like 2.9 ounce to 3 ounce, and what that means is that every yard will weigh 3 ounces. So if you have 3 yards, you get 9 ounces of fabric. Um, and whereas online you can order 1.6 ounce or 1.9, whatever you want. But it will allow you to experiment without having to order and get things shipped and all that. The eighth inch am steel, it's 2.27 grams a foot with a breaking strength of 2,500 pounds. Uh, this is what I'm going to make my whoopee slings out of just to give more surface area to grip. Uh, you can do it out of the thinner Dyneema cords. That's all that these are, am steel, zing it, it's all just Dyneema cord. Um, and it's just the, the thicker it is, the more surface area to grip when it locks. So this zing it here, this is 1.75 millimeter and it weighs uh, 0.6 grams a foot and has a 500 pound breaking strength. Uh, it's very thin and so we're going to experiment with that. A little thinner than I thought, but we'll see if we can pull off a ridge line out of it or something. A bunch of grow grain, and that's what's going to join our our fabric when we do uh, on the inside when we do our pack or attempt to do our pack. This is that thread that I was talking about, the Mara 70. This is pretty much what you want. I've never found a thread that's made me as happy as this, so I recommend it. Uh, basic drawstring. Uh, this one is 1.8 millimeter draw cord. It's 100% polyester with a 200 pound breaking strength and uh, it's 0.9 grams a foot. I prefer this for doing the cinch on the ends of the hammocks, the ball end hammocks, to pretty much anything I've used because it really doesn't stretch. Um, doesn't stretch very much, you can get it real tight and the texture on the outside, it tends to, the knots tend to, to hold really well. Uh, 550 cord and some some other stuff I've used you tie the the knot and it it just doesn't grab as hard as I'd like it to so let's see this is the 2.2 millimeter zing it or dynamic board whatever you want to call it it is 0.8 grams a foot and it comes in at 650 pounds breaking strength. So this will definitely work for a ridge line. Um, and we'll see what else. Again, it was a little thinner than I thought it would be. Basic buckles and clips. Here is just an assortment of random wooden beads. Uh, and what we're going to use these for is when we make our whoopee slings, when you're making your, uh, your stopper end, uh, you can actually, as you're doing that loop, you feed a bead through it and it adds extra protection to keep that whoopee sling from sliding back up into the into the locking portion. So anyway, that's what we got for our 
make your own gear offerings this season. I will try to get it done in uh, as timely a manner as possible so that you can build your own for this season. Thanks for stopping by. As always, subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out my website, bigwhitefish.com. Uh, all of these videos will have a sister article where I usually go into more detail or, or really fine tune any parts that were hard to explain in the videos. So make sure to check that out. There's also downloads and hiking trails and all kinds of stuff. So hope to see you there and uh, good luck.